Hello and welcome to Programming Knowledge. So in today's video, you'll be learning about how to use Matplotlib library to plot different types of graphs. So we'll start with the simple plot. So I'll be using PyCharm ID for this video series. So if you're not installed PyCharm, I'll be giving the link to the video to show how to install PyCharm on your Windows or Mac machine. So I'll open PyCharm ID using Spotlight. Okay, so we'll create a new project. We'll give a project name as Mat Matplotlib Tutorial or Tut. And we'll select Project Interpreter. So we'll select New Environment using Virtual M. You can also select Pipin or Conda, but I will select Virtual M. And you can change the location if you want. Base interpreter is Python 3.6 and we'll click on create. And it is creating the virtual environment for our project. Okay, we'll close the tip. You can see the project structure. We have the virtual environment directory. So in the bottom, you can create on, uh, click on terminal tab and it will open the terminal. So here we'll type pip install matplotlib and press enter. So this will download the matplotlib library and it will install on our machine. So we'll wait till it get downloaded and installed. So while it is downloading, let me show you the matplotlib library and what is the use case of that. So we'll open a new window of Chrome. We'll type matplotlib. Let it load. So you can see the matplot library is a Python two-dimensional plotting library which produces quality figures in a variety of uh, formats. So you can also use it uh, with uh, Python scripts and also with Jupyter Notebook. So it is derived from a MATLAB. MATLAB is a multi-paradigm numerical computing environment. So we can go in examples. So here you can see the different uh, graphs they are provided with, like stacked bar graph, horizontal graph. There are n number of graphs here. So each one has a demo code with that. So if you want, you can take a look at that. So these are scatter plots. We have bar graphs. I'll be using a simple plot to show you how to use matplotlib library. Let me click on particular. Okay. okay, you can see the percentile as a horizontal bar chart. So they have given us the code also. So this code looks a little bit advanced. So we'll start from the basics. And as soon as we learn more about matplotlib, I'll be showing you how to use it to produce complex charts. So we can also create pie charts. So you can go through the gallery if you are interested in this. So it is still downloading. So it has downloaded and installed. So you can see the it has installed different packages along with the matplotlib like numpy 6. You can see the matplotlib in the end. So we can click on our project from project structure and new and click on Python file. So we'll give the name as uh, mat. Mat dot one, which is mat matplotlib tutorial one. So we'll click enter, and as you can see, it has opened the file. And here we can uh, import the package. So we'll use from. 
matplotlib we type import pyplot and you can use alias as plt so whenever you want to use uh, pyplot we'll call as plt and the name of the function which we want to use so now we have imported the pyplot package so we'll import our uh, data so here we have a list so i have put as three list so i will share with uh, the list with you data.py file so this contains the years so i have copied this data from uh, this particular website called statistic times so in here you can see the china versus india pop population from 1950s to estimated year like 2100 so i have copied it from 1950s to 2013 so you can see it is from 1950s so china has like uh, 554 millions and in 2030 they have 1.4 billion and our india has 1.5 billion so i had copied that uh, data and put it in the list in python so year contains 1950 to 2030 so i'll copy this year list into our mat tutorial one py in population china so these uh, floating point values are in uh, billions so keep in mind i have not taken the whole number i just uh, scaled it down to the decimal point two so i will use only two population china and here so we will plot this uh, data using pyplot package so we will import that package using plt dot plot so this is a function so inside this function we will pass the x axis and y axis values so x axis, axis would be year comma y axis would be population of china okay so after this if you have to show it to the screen so you will use plt.show function to display it on the desktop so when you run this you will see this uh, figure one so this is a simple plot so in x-axis you can see the age and in y-axis you can see the scale of the population so you can use the pan pan function to pan around can use the magnify to magnify and see the exact details of the plot and you can use this arrow keys to undo and redo so if you can if you want to go back you can use undo and if you want to get one step back back you can use redo so i think this is about uh, configuration of uh, subplot so also you can click on this save to save the file as png save the plot as png format image and you can also use home to bring it back to the original position so we want to add uh, x-axis and y-axis label so we can do that using plt dot x label so this will display the x la uh, label values so we'll pass the string as year and for the y label we'll use plt dot y label in the parenthesis we will give population in China in billions okay so we will make the year as Y capital okay we will run now and you can see the label is uh, put up as in X axis we have year in Y axis we have population You can also add a title but first I will change the population okay uh, you can also add the title so for that we'll use plt dot title function so inside this you can pass a string as population of China so let me run again this program 
you can see the title has come up as population of China. Now we will uh, import our another list that is population of India. We we'll copy and paste it in our matplotlib tutorial one file. Okay, so now we we'll pass this uh, population India list to the plot. It will not give an error. It will actually print that, but it will be not in a good format. So the better option would be to print it separately using plt dot plot pass year as a first argument comma population of India as second argument. Now we'll change the title as population of China versus India. Okay. Now we'll run this. So you can see. So we cannot figure out which one is what, but according to our previous uh, graph, you can see that uh, blue is China and orange is uh, India. So to know which one is uh, what, we can use legend function. So for that, we'll use pit.legend. So inside that, we'll pass the values of the particular line as a list. So the first string would be population of China. So we'll put that China. Comma. Next would be India. So put string as India in save and now run. So you can see in the upper left corner, we have blue for China and orange for India. So this is carried out using the function legend. So this is a little bit, uh, it can create problems in longer run if you are having more than one or two countries like population of Brazil or population of uh, Russia, for example. So if we have like 10, 15, then the order will be mismatch if you are working on lot of countries. So for that, the better option would be using a attribute in the plot function. So I'll remove this, uh, I'll copy this China. Okay. And now in the plot function, we'll give an attribute as label equal to, we'll pass the string at China. And we'll pass India in the second plot as label equal to, oops, label equal to plot uh, India. So what this will do, it will do the same thing as uh, what legend was uh, doing using the list. So instead of passing through legend, we are passing it through plot. Okay. So this is how you create a simple plot. So in the next video, I'll be showing you how to use different formatting strings and how to use different styles to make the graphs look more intuitive and uh, more awesome.